Hey guys, welcome to Widescreen Logic. I'm Josh Weber. Today I'm going to give a brief review of the Yellow Jackets season one finale. I'm so glad I can say season one and not a series finale. I've got a lot more ideas bouncing around in my head about this, so this won't be my last video on it. But today I thought I'd just give my first impressions of the finale and go from there. Spoilers lay ahead, so if you're not current on this, please get caught up and come back. I'm gonna be diving all over into this. So, unfortunately, most of my most of my predictions and theories were totally off base, but I'm willing to eat crow and actually go through them. Initially, I thought that Adam's death might provide Natalie, Shauna, Misty, and Thais another opportunity to taste flesh again, but it seems that was absolutely not the case as uh, some of his remains were left in the coffin. And I don't know if we figured out where his torso landed, but I'm not holding my breath that anyone has that stored somewhere, as it's not really something that seems particularly convenient to stash. I was also quite surprised that the meat, uh, which we saw in the photos from previous to the episode premiering, turned out to be that of a bear, not a human. I thought for sure either Javi or some other polar soul soul was on the chopping block and gonna get cut up for team survival. It looks like we'll be waiting on that until next season to see if the descent into cannibalistic clans occurs sooner rather than later. The feud between Jackie and Shauna proved to just be about Jeff and everything else that had gone unsaid between the two up to that point rather than about eating someone on the team, which I'm a little bit disappointed about, but totally makes sense. Uh, I guess that was probably a bit too much to hope for in this finale. Thankfully, I did predict one thing, right? That being Jessica meeting her end by Misty's hand. As I was watching, I was beginning to think that they might give her a few more episodes in season two, but sure enough, Misty was thinking a few steps ahead of everybody and took out Jessica with what seemed to be maybe a fentanyl injected syrup. In any case, she's done. Uh, the more time goes on, the more I think it would be terrible to be stuck with Misty in the woods, but wow, like, she's the gal to have around if anything crazy happens once you've bond been in the woods. I wonder if season two will bring her into direct conflict with Thaisa, Shauna, or Natalie. I think that's a possibility, but I guess we'll see. The high school reunion proved to be a much less intense event than I had anticipated outside of Shauna dealing death threats to Jeff's best friend. I certainly fell into the camp of people that thought that more per people survived in the woods and would show up in the reunion, but if they were present, we have no idea about that at this point. It turns out that the reunion is just one more way that the Yellow Jacket survivors had to revisit and endure their trauma all over again as they were shown photos of their glory days before the plane crash. I now understand why Juliet Lewis was not particularly enthused with where Natalie ends this season in, with this episode, as she edges dangerously close to ending her own life with a gun. After helping Shauna literally cut up Adam, she's forced to reconsider the possibility that maybe Travis really just couldn't handle the real world anymore and committed suicide would be totally understandable. We can tell that she too arrives at this place mentally, and so I'm glad that she didn't pull the trigger and so glad we get to see her, more of her coming in season two. And Lottie is alive. The showrunners have confirmed that she will have a prominent role in season two. So start dream casting her. I've only ever thought of her so far as being in the teenage world. So I'm not really sure off the top of my head who I think is going to be best to play her. But I know I personally would love to see another 90s teen star have a shot at portraying her. Uh, this was not the most completely explosive finale I had been predicting, but that's not to say I wasn't floored in the last few minutes as we watched the death of Jackie and the capture of Natalie. I really believed that Jackie had to have survived and either died once she got back to the real world or just went off the grid where no one could find her. I had full anticipated her appearing as an adult in this episode, maybe at the high school reunion, so... Even though it totally makes narrative sense that she died, it was still devastating to watch knowing that the last interaction she had with Shauna was a big fight. The primal scream that Shauna gives was really felt even if you hated Jackie. 
it will definitely give repeat viewings of this season more weight, knowing that this is one of the many things that Shauna carries with her in the present day and gives a lot more depth to her guilt. Uh, I'm also a little bit upset that Natalie had to end on a suicidal note when she could have still could have been captured by that cult in maybe a slightly better mental state. It's hard for actors to inhabit these characters in TV series like we've seen with Natalie, and I just hope, if for nobody else but Juliet Lewis, that she doesn't have such a devastating heart in season two. She deserves more. And wow, we knew that Thaisa was develop or was relapsing into her alter ego, but I was truly shocked to see her dog's head having been placed on a makeshift sacrificial altar in the basement. It seems strongly suggested that this is what helped her win her big upset in the election. So it'll be interesting to see what else uh, her alter ego might be willing to do as the world of politics never has a shortage of things for which you need to uh, make crazy sacrifices, right? She has already sacrificed her family metaphorically and physically with the dog. So what else is she gonna do? Well, thankfully we won't have to wait too long to find out as the president of entertainment at Showtime, Gary Levine, has been over the moon with the audience response and ratings the show has garnered. So he told Vulture uh, that he wants to see the next season premiere later this year. So hopefully around November or December. It still is a stretch in my head, but I'm just excited that we get it at all. So I have a lot of other thoughts I want to address, but for now, these thought are the thoughts I have to surface after watching the finale. It was really great. I am going to lose my mind in the coming, throughout the rest of this year, waiting for this to come back. So I'm hoping another video or two on this will help me to not completely lose my brain before the next season starts. What did you guys think though? This was, was it a satisfying finale to you or were you hoping for more? I'm gonna put a few links in the details uh, check them out if you wanted to hear more from the showrunners. Let me know in the comments uh, what else you thought. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.